today we're going to be reviewing three pro line rackets from the ball paddle range we're going to be reviewing the hack 03 paquito's racket we're going to be reviewing the vertex 04 which is juan teo's racket and we're going to be reviewing the neuron which is chingotto's racket and at the end of this video, we're gonna give our personal preference on what we would use. Before we get hitting and trying out these rackets, let's go through each of them and give a bit of a breakdown. Starting with the Hack 03, this is the stiffest racket in the ball paddle range. It's 18K carbon and it's used by Paquito, so it's used for aggressive, powerful players. The Vertex 04 used by Juan Teo is a more versatile racket, still an aggressive racket and actually the best selling racket of all time in the performance range in Spain. And the Neuron racket, the Chingotto racket is 3K carbon, hybrid shape and very responsive, great for intermediate players. So already I can feel with the hack, it's a hard racket. I personally really like the feel of a hard racket. I like the sound that comes off the racket when I hit the ball. Good, good power. I feel like I've got quite a lot behind the ball. Even when I don't give too much effort, I'm getting a good response off the racket. I really like this already, just hitting a few balls. The Neuron, I feel, is quite a forgiving racket. It's got a nice feel on it. It's a lovely weight and balance. Um, I probably have to hit into that ball to get power on it. Um, but I can see why it's so popular for an intermediate player or a recreational player getting started. Yeah, so I can feel straight away with a Neuron that if I don't connect the ball quite in the sweet spot in the center, it's nice and forgiving, it's still responsive. I noticed with the hack, that if I didn't get the connection quite right, it didn't give me much, but I can feel already here that it's a lot more forgiving from the back of the court. Personally, I really love the feel of this Vertex. Um, it is slightly top heavy, um, but the, the material and, and the way it, it strikes the ball is, it feels great. You get good power, good control on this. Um, this is definitely, for me, a, a, a racket I, I like the feel of straight away. So I can feel already with this racket that it's a little bit heavier than the Neuron. I can feel that in my hand already. And I can feel also that as a result of that, I get more behind the ball. I like the feel of it, it feels, feels nice, nice and maneuverable. Yeah, it's a great feel. This feels nice in the hand and after using the Neuron, it feels a little bit heavier. Um, it feels a little bit harder as well than the, the Vertex, just slightly stiffer in, in the frame. I think this is the 18 carbon, 18K carbon. Um, and you can actually feel that when, when you're hitting. So we've hit a few from the back there and we've got a feel for all three of the rackets. It's really important to understand that the rackets can feel a little bit different, particularly for different players. So it, it's probably worth us having some volleys and, and testing them with some overheads as well. Yeah, and rackets react differently in different parts of the court. So let's hit some volleys and we'll see afterwards. So Tom, how did you feel with each of the different rackets and what was your favorite? I love trying the different rackets. I think they're, they're all different in their own right. For me, I much prefer the, the Hack 03. I think it just suits my game. I'm a bit more of an aggressive player. I play on the left side. I like to hit big smashes from the front of the court and I like to feel a hard racket in my hand. So for me, I think the Hack 03 would be my preference. And, and me personally, I, I loved the, the Vertex. Um, I don't hit with as much power on my smash, but I do like a bit of power, but I like that combination of power and control 
that the Vertex gives. I do have to say though, the Neuron for an intermediate player, it was it had a really nice feel to it, didn't it? It was it was light, it was nice control. I would I could recommend that for a lot of recreational players. Definitely, it's responsive and it's forgiving. If you don't quite hit it through the middle, it still gave you a lot behind the ball. So yeah, highly recommend this one. It is worth noting that these two, they are performance rackets. So, um, you know, you do have to hit the ball in the right place to get the maximum out of the two models. On our platform, thepaddleschool.com, we have a product review section where we review different rackets, different equipment, everything to do with paddle. And we've done a great video just down here if you want to learn the best way for you to choose the racket right for you.